Hey guys, this is Patrick from Tomorrow Comes Movies. Chris is on the camera. We're here with Carlos Ferro, who plays Dom in Gears of War. I'm a huge Gears of War fan. And I have to say that your character has some of the best story in the game. And I felt that equally, he was my favorite next to Marcus Phoenix. How, how has that been? He doesn't life? have to be your favorite next to Marcus. He can just be your favorite. Okay? All due respect to Marcus and John, but I'm totally kidding. I, I know what it's like to have the player one and player two thing. And it's a quite a testament to both characters that, you know, sometimes people don't even, it's, it's, they're, they imprint themselves so much on player one that they don't they ignore the character. Marcus is a force. Marcus is, he's the god of Gears of War and it's awesome to play as him. And I think the only thing that makes it cooler, if I do say so myself, is that the second guy that you're playing as your co-op partner and your, your buddy is Dom. And Dom, he brings, he brought levity, heart, uh, soul to the franchise, yes. and that's unusual. Everybody knows that. Yes. Um, it's getting more common now because of me. But um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But um, no, it it, it's so much fun. It's so much fun, and I and I appreciate anybody that digs Dom in particular because I put a lot of time into it. Me and John and Lester and Fred and uh, I, I'm going to have to name check everybody right now. And <laughs> man and Michael, we all have been at it for so long over a decade working on these characters that it's it's so gratifying to have people still be in it, want to know what happens next. Gears 5 is promising to be incredible with Kate. Yes. Kate uh, taken front and center, at least that's what it looked like in the trailer. See, that's how you don't violate a non-disclosure. <laughs> and uh, But I mean, not for nothing, I'm still playing Gears 4, and Gears 4, the eSports tournaments, I hosted the Las Vegas Open, really? and it knocked me over how passionate people are about it. And just like you said, they're like, Marcus is my guy, Dom's my guy. And it's not it's not a small feat. That's that's a big deal being, you know, entrenched in the pop culture and, and it, it becoming an e-sport. I mean that term gets a lot of shit, but you know, these guys, they're killing it. Yeah, they're very talented. They're talented. So Gears of War is rumored to be they're going to make a film of it. And I want to ask you, because you worked alongside John, who does Marcus Phoenix. Yes. Batista wants to take on the role of Marcus Phoenix. And John gave him the endorsement. Oh, I did not know that. So I wanted to ask you if you think he's got, he's got what it takes yes. to do it. Who would you want to I, see for you? Well, I, I think, I like how you phrase that too. Thank you. Um, I really do, from the heart. John uh, said, he said on Twitter to Dave Batista that he supports him and that he helped him with the voice and he wants a cameo. Which I think is very funny, and that's very, very uh, much accurate. We, we're an insecure lot, but we want to be in everything. Um, I've never chimed in um, because I've been working on the movie for so long on who I think should play me. Um, uh, I, I have a lot of ideas of how I could be involved. Just like John was like, "Cameo, let me in," right? But I think that a strong actor is it's pretty obvious because of all the story arc and the stories depending on what story they're going to tell i mean for all we know the gears movie won't have much of what we're, yes. what we're used to or what we've seen before and i think that's exciting too you know yes. um i just want a gears of war movie but when it comes to my character i said i finally did go on record on twitter so i guess i have to it's, you're the first podcast that i'm going to say out loud who i should think if it ain't me it should be him <laughs> okay. okay exclusive um, Oscar Isaac. Ooh. Wow, yes. Poe Dameron. Oh, yeah. Very I, underrated. Uh, I, I just, I, I've got a hundred reasons why and uh, none why not. So, uh, that, that's, I'm on board with him. But again, I'm not producing the movie. I mean, for all we know, there's already somebody or a few people in mind. I just, I, my short list is uh, limited to one. <laughs> no, he's, he's a great, I have to give you props, it's a great choice. Thanks. How was Gears of War changed your life when you first did it? You had no idea it was going to be no one did. equally huge. So how, do, how, is it, how is it now, 2018, you're like, people still love Gears of War, especially the first three, hold something in their heart. I, um, it means a lot to me. Being at a game on Expo, that knocks me over. It knocks me over to be in Phoenix at a gaming themed convention. Because I've done the PAXs and all that. Um, it's very different. This is a fan run, essentially, convention. And I, I'm knocked over being a, a geek that, you know, my passion as a kid became part of what I do for a job. So it never, it's never lost on me that people love one, two, and three, and four, too. I mean, not for nothing, Dom's an open yes. four, you know? Yes. So I'm very proud of it, and it, it's, uh, but it's still surprising, as you were saying, but the greatest surprise you could hope for.
And where can they find you on social media if they want to follow Social you? media, Twitter, Real Carlos Ferro. Not the real, just Real Carlos Ferro. Um, same with Instagram. And then uh, Facebook. I'm pretty. I'm a pretty open book online, so uh, my security settings are like zero. So. <laughs> Not the smartest move, but it's a fact. So you can come uh, find me on Facebook as well. Friend me on Facebook. That's just Carlos Farrell. That's the way it's spelled. Thank you again. It was a pleasure. Thank you.